We're now going to use what we've learned from the string experiment in a new situation. How does the centripetal force explain how a car turns a bend? Think back to the object on the string. Imagine that the car is attached to a rope and you want to make it travel on a curved path. You would apply a pulling force on the rope. In this case, the wheels on the ground must be applying the equivalent force for the car as the object on a string would. The centripetal force applied to turn a bend in a car is the friction force applied between the car tires and the road. This force would be directed towards the centre of an imaginary circle. If this force is suddenly removed, as happens if the string breaks when swinging an object in a circular path, what would happen to the car? The answer is that it will continue on its current direction. This is exactly what happens when a car turning a bend encounters an oil spill or ice on the road. The friction between the tyres and the road suddenly is reduced with significant reduction in the centripetal force. This is an example of taking an experiment and applying it to a new situation. Are there any other situations to which the concept of centripetal force can be applied?